Hello, hello, it's me, Fizzy, and welcome back to my Alan Wake Let's Play. This is part seven, episode six, the final conclusion. We've got our Left 4 Dead team with us. We've got Bear, we've got Sarah, we've got Alan Wake, and we've got Cynthia Weaver, and we're headed to Cauldron Lake clicker in hand ready to save Alice. I don't know about y'all, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited to see the end of this journey. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote Let's a watch the recap. that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. Oh. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light! He's like... The he left something behind. Alan is like writing a story Alan within a story. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. He's... I can get to her now. I can finish this. According to Thomas Zane, this is all predetermined. He wrote all of this out, including Alan, including Alan writing Alan's story. So really it's Thomas Zane's story. Does Alan only exist because of Thomas Zane? Like, what does that say for his greater existence outside of the game, like his entire life? I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. We're in another flashback in here. In my okay. finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. In one of my finer moments of self-deception. Okay, Alan, we've all been there. I understand. That's just the greatest way of saying, oh yeah, we need the sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. I'm sorry. Uh, you didn't deserve that. No one deserves that. Horrible. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. <laughs> it's not even nighttime, it's daytime. I just really wanted to, I just really like that song. I'm sorry. Can you blame me? I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, I see. I want to poke around. Let me poke. I see your washing machine. But I, you know, I've never had a home where the washer and dryer are inside the bathroom. I would like a home with a bathroom big enough to do that. That would be nice. Oh yeah, orange bottle, white cap. Those, Those are fast. the good painkillers. The prospect of being awake started to Ain't seem no OTC again. here. Can I get in the shower? Let me shower him. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you got the tub separate from the stall shower? Ugh. There was a message I need to start writing books. Machine. Listen to the messages. Okay, I got you. I just want to, I want to touch everything. I'm sorry. I know it appears as if I am just stumbling around, poking around at things, and that's exactly what I'm doing. But what if I find something? You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey. It's my best friend, Barry. Show on your table. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it. Yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. <laughs> but parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. I love that Barry is such a bro. He just does not like Alice. At the very least, he does not like Alice for Barry. I mean, for Alan. But when Alan is distraught because his wife is missing, there he is, book. right there, the ready to save the woman he does not love. <laughs> Those are the kind of homies you need in your life, honestly. Barry's a real one. When we first started this game, I did not like Barry at all. And yes, I am. I'm being nosy and just looking around his house. Leave me alone. I want to see what Alan sees. When I first started the game, I was not a big fan of Barry. He came off a little strong, a little sleazy, a little fast talking. Like the only thing he wanted of Alan was money. 
But now it's money and friendship, and I, I can appreciate that. He's a businessman. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new... Hey, that's me, Alan Wake! Yeah, good read. Go buy it. <laughs> no, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to... Oh, Alan, anyway. you sassy pants. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> okay, so I got to be a really, really good book writer to land a house like this. Got it. The hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. Departure? You selfish bastard. Always oh. thinking of yourself. Now, is this the last interview he gave before he went into his and now that you mention hiatus? He was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. When I first encountered was the word hiatus, I thought it was yeah, pronounced no hatitis. I threw an extra tease for whatever reason. Back. It's fine. No. I eventually I figured it out. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Boy, you New York. Been the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and... Don't come after um, me, New York. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Fight with some I'm just not good in the oh, city, man. okay? It's too well, much. It's too big. Really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. <laughs> yeah, but temper. That's novel funnier. Is called the sudden stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the... Features. Oh! Oh, that's Sam Lake! Oh, that's the guy! That's the guy who made the game. At least he also did fun. Max Payne. I told myself I could and a lot it. of other stuff, like Control and, you know... Ah! You're saying anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. <laughs> Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was angry, mostly at myself, and she was there, a convenient victim. What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Now I'm over <laughs> it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. Oh yeah, he's already waiting. hit. He's already hit his. I'm sorry, honey. Writer's block. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation, just you and me, some peace and quiet. Oh god damn it! Why do you have to do this to me? Somehow, the clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms, to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. <sighs> Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. What? Miss Weaver, close the door when I leave. Oh, they're all staying here. Okay. Oh, was he crying? That single tear running down Barry's face. See you later. Later. 
I don't remember if Alan comes back. Oh, fuck. When I got out, it was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Are we... When, when do I start playing Alan? Is last chapter just a long cutscene? I'd be okay with that. Alone. Damn it. In daylight. <laughs> surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream. A delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time. Trapped in a story inside my head. Gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed. There would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Okay. You're not crazy, Alan. If you're crazy, I'm crazy. Well, that doesn't look good for you, Alan, actually. Oh! Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Product placement at Taco Bell. If anybody can name that reference, I'd be very, very, very happy. And if anybody could not name that reference, I'll drop the name of where that reference comes from, and then you can all watch it. I hope I'm going the right way. This is where Cauldron Lake is. <laughs> We're just going to leave without Alice. <laughs> oh, those are the brakes. Oops. Oops, oops. A scenic area? Hold on, Alice. Wait up. Oh, shoot. I'm going to get a new car. I didn't mean to do that. Is this theft? My ste I'm stealing these cars. Yeah, but my friend is a cop, so it's okay. She doesn't care. She'll she'll just be like, yeah, I witnessed him owning all those cars. It's totally fine. There is an easier way to turn. I can't drive. I don't know if you've noticed, but I can't. It's okay, though. My friend's a cop, so if I get pulled over, I'll just be like, yeah, I know Sarah. We're cool. I can hear the sound of the handcuffs clinking closed against my wrists now. <laughs> I feel like there's another area I could have stopped and explored. Aw, oh, nuts. <laughs> I was hitting the brakes! Oh, God. Oh, no! The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again, getting closer. Uh, Alan, get in the van. No. You're gonna make me walk the rest of the way? Or run? Oh, no. No, birds. No, thank you. Oh, she's taunting us. I will kill your wife. Oh, will you? Can you guys calm down? Hey! I don't have a gun. Oh, I do have a gun. When did I get a gun? The game usually makes me earn a gun. I didn't realize I started with one. Oh, I guess it was when we took Sarah's gun, right? Maybe. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. And he carried a weapon left behind by Thomas Zane. Something that could hurt it. Now, the dark A flashlight. Its power to Only Thomas Zane has access to- Oh wait, no, the clicker. The I'm dumb, sorry. We're talking about, like, the actual darkness, not the Taken. Here I was getting all sassy. That's what I get. Alright, Alan. Time for Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm actually, I'll, I'll be real. I'm not the biggest Grand Theft Auto fan. I am very excited for that trailer. Looks very cool. Looks very clean. I'm very happy for Grand Theft Auto fans. I, I'm happy to see you win after so long with GTA 5 online. Oh God, I'm so sorry. 
I'm not stopping for you guys. I'm not stopping for you either. Actually, I'm gonna run you over because it'll be funny. Yeah. Oh, maybe I shouldn't run too many things over because now my car feels a little chunkier. Maybe I should be careful. Maybe I should get a new car. Maybe I should stop here. I think I saw... Ooh, can I go in these rooms? Yeah! What the hell? Is that Alice? Are those people? Who are these? No, no, that's not Alice. That's the waitress. Oh my god, what is... This is the FBI agent's room. Oh, snap. Yeah, this, this guy was a total the drunk. Where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Oh, I I thought those flashbangs were cans of beer, which is why I made the comment of, "Oh yeah, he's a total drunk." I just thought there was beer cans littered everywhere, just wine bottles and a six pack. My bad, I guess. He's still an alcoholic. That's not my fault. That's his fault. The creator's dilemma. Big buffer spicy bag. Spicy barbecue. Big stuffer. Big tougher? I don't know. He likes spicy barbecue, though. I'm not a fan. I barbecue, like, if you put barbecue flavored chips in front of me, I'll eat them. But I would not go out of my way to find barbecue flavored chips. No! I'm talking about chips! Don't even. Some actual barbecue, though. If you put some actual barbecue in front of me, I'll go crazy. That's just a given. In, as any human being should. Unless you do not partake in... meats. Because I don't know of, of if any bomb vegetarian barbecue. Although, I believe it can exist. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, in room number two. I was- I've already been to his room. Now I'm just backtracking backwards. Give me this shotgun. The Majestic Motel. General information. Refundable $100 security deposit is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. We take all major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. No loud music, no pets. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors are allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. If you're a senior or a vet, ask about our discounts. But if I'm a vet, I'm not going to be able to bring my sick animals with me. I'm kidding. I know. Army veteran. Leave me alone. I want... Skanky ho? Sco Are those just- is that a skanky ho glasses ska- no. That doesn't say skanky ho. I think it does. I need some skanky ho glasses right now. <laughs> I'm having too much fun in this motel. I need to find Alice. What am I doing? Oh, here's- I- this is what I was looking for. I- this caught my eye when we had drove up initially, and then I got caught by, uh, Nightingale's room. There we go. Definitely gonna need batteries with this giant lantern that I'm using. Can I get into the other rooms? STOP IT! Oh, it was just me kicking over a potted plant. I thought monsters were after me. <laughs> nope. Locked. Locked. And I don't think you can dumpster dive. I don't remember. I don't think you can open dumpsters in the- No, I think you can. I should probably go open that dumpster that's across- I'm not going to. I'm not going back. I'm going to jump this ramp, Fonzie style. Let's go. Oh, this- No, I can't use that one. I can't use that one either. I can! Wait. No shotgun shells. Bam. Let me drive the boat. I will boat my way to Alice. I will find her. I will love her. Maybe I should get back in the car. 
No, there's a car over there. I feel like none of these cars work. I'm getting back in my car. This, I, I'm not gonna have a repeat of, well, what was it? Episode two or episode three? Where I just ran down the highway because I crashed the car as soon as I got into it. Yeah, we're not doing that again. I'm jumping this ramp. All right, Alan, are you ready? I might kill you. Oh, that's reverse. That was so anticlimactic. Maybe I should have backed up and picked up more speed. Can I steal this truck? Alan, please. I, oh, I can't steal the truck. It's fine. We're just gonna keep going. Don't hit the hay bale, Alan. Oh my god, don't! No. Oh. Never mind. Um, I'm not getting out of my car. I see that I have to, but I don't want to. I should have dealt with those guys first while I was in the car. Yeah, that would have been smart. But that's not us. Not this playthrough. Not this Alan. Hey, sir, can you leave me alone while I'm targeting other enemies, please? Thank you. All right. I would say crisis averted, but this entire playthrough has been a crisis, honestly. What? Can we jump through here, Alan? Do you think you can fit? No? Was this not where I was supposed to go? No? I- it looked like it. This looked like the way. Maybe it's off that way. Like, off into the field? That's scary. I don't want to- I don't want to run off into a field. No cliff diving. We learned- we learned about the dangers of cliff diving in episode one. I could pro- like, Al- yeah, Alan could- I- see, it- more overthinking. I went the most complicated ways first. Classic Izzy. I'm gonna make my life as hard as possible. Yeah, I was trying to run up these, okay? I thought maybe. I see things I'm not happy to see right now. What? Oh, stop it! Don't! Stop it! Oh, you know what? I accidentally dropped a flare, I think. I'm like, what saved me? I think I accidentally saved me. I don't like this. Oh, <laughs> I'm dropping another flare! Flashbang! There we go. Alan, oh my god, these things are gnarly! They hurt a lot, Alan! I wasn't paying attention to my health, honestly. I'll be real, I was kind of not taking that as seriously as I should have, maybe. I don't know. I just see inanimate objects flying at me, and I'm like, oh no, it's big and definitely gonna take a lot of health. I think this flare is here to tell me to use my, my flares. That flares would be very useful in this situation. So let's switch from the flashbangs to the flares, because I think the game is right. Where is it coming from? Hell? Yes, Alan. What the hell indeed? You almost ran into that hole, sir. Nice, nice. This is... The flares are way better. Oh! 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 Stop it! You stop that right now! I can't see where I'm supposed to go! <laughs> I'm seriously, it's just inanimate objects, really? I was trying to fight that fridge. I try to fight the fridge every day. I never win. The fridge always wins. Oh, 
hell no. Oh, no, 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 no. What is... What in the... No! I'm just gonna start dropping flares. Oh, flashbangs. Flashbangs is what we're dropping. What happened? Nice to see you too. Oh, it's gone. Okay. We we did it. Yay! We beat him. We just used all of our supplies. <laughs> and this is our handy dandy car. Perfect. I nothing else better come for me. I didn't realize my car had a battery too. And that I could, that this was high beaming them. That's, oh shoot. I, I just ran through that like I was running over an enemy. Probably not the smart. What are you stuck on, car? High beam them, oh my God. I, You know what? I can't drive. I just can't. I can't. I'm stuck. I am so stuck right now. He's very... St he's stuck! He's stuck! <laughs> We're stuck on chunks of street! This cannot be happening! I'm reversing, and now I'm off... Okay, we're getting out of the car now, Alan. <laughs> I'm... God. Yes, yes, I know. There's way too enemy. There's too many enemies here for me because I wasn't supposed to actually get out of the car. I was supposed to expertly use the car to defend myself. Oh my god! Apps G Where did you come from? Do I have another car over? Oh, nope, it's a wall. Nope. I, okay, I'm, I guess I'm gonna fight it. It drives as bad as I do. Look at it, it's stuck. Look at it, it's stuck. It's not me. It's clear the environment. Clearly the environment is not made for cars. Even this monster truck is having trouble. Can I flashbang it? Are you serious? Where did you come from? Come on, man. I'm out of batteries. I have one battery. Oh! Okay, we're leaving. The truck is unstuck. I am thoroughly not having fun with these guys anymore. I'm leaving. What? How did you get over there, truck? I'm running, I'm cutting, I'm cutting through the forest. Y'all wanna see the messiest playthrough of Alan Wake you've ever seen? I got you. I got you right here. Dude, I've never had a loading screen from after death. I, that's, okay, we've got the car. So much happened between getting the car and falling off the cliff. Don't fall off the cliff, Alan. Just, yeah. Yes. I didn't know I could flash them like that. That was my initial problem. Yes! So much better! Maybe if I use the tools given to me by the game, things will go better and easier. I see you, monster truck. Don't even. Don't! I'm not. I'm going straight for this light over here. There's a big bright light. Ooh! I'm driving into it like a little moth. Ah! I'm 
which I thought that the checkpoint light would make that truck go away, but it's not going away. It is not. I don't want to fight it. I'm done fighting machines. What is this? The Terminator or Alan Wake? That thing is just relentless. My God, the car that I arrived in has to be like a cube by now. Can I get into this car? Please? Oh yeah, the other car's smushed. Can I reverse and then leave this way? Cause the murder car, I got it stuck between the beams. Oh, nope, there we go, there we go. Yes! I don't know where to go though. Oh, look at this thermos, hold on. Oh, that monster truck's gonna come hit my little truck now. This, that was dumb. It's okay. I'm not going inside that thing. No, 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 get in the car, Alan! Oh, Alan, get back in the car. <gasps> Okay. Did he pull me out? Is that what happened? Guys, please. I know, I'm a famous writer. You're very excited to see me. However, please go away. I'm trying to save my wife. This is... I'm so bad at this game. I don't know if I'm bad or if I just gave up. Oh, no, that car's busted. Thanks, guys. Now I gotta run through this cornfield. I still hear the monster truck. I don't want to deal with you guys. I have one bullet left. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? Oh, yeah not driving the car correctly. I don't know how I'm gonna kill these guys. Oh, I have a shotgun. Okay. Don't be like that. I can't, you, I don't have enough bullets for this. I don't have enough bullets for you. You can stalk me. You suck at stalking anyways. Look at you running around out there like an idiot. I mean, same, but still. This is painful. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> this has to be the worst Alan Wake playthrough on YouTube ever. Like, I swear. Skill-wise. Yeah, I saw it. I heard you. With your dissonant whispers. Get out of here. Go. Yeah, I'm so done with you. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby Jesus. Thank you, Thomas Zane. We have another vehicle. Let's not crash this one. I don't like... Stop it. Stop that right now. You stop it. Are you... Don't throw school buses. No, no, no. <laughs> I wedged the driver's door closed and he couldn't get out. Are you kidding me, Alan? There, no, there's another, there's gotta be another way around. <laughs> okay, we did it. Oh yeah, we're definitely switching to the pump action shotgun. <laughs> Can I get into this car? Please say yes. Oh no. What if I just go around it? I don't like the sounds of its screams. No! <laughs> You are a lightweight. I'm gonna shoot this. 
Stop it. They <laughs> Whoa, that got everybody. I'm surprised. Oh, I actually have batteries now? Nice. Okay. There's way too much ammo all over the place for my liking. I mean, I yes, I like getting stuff, but also the implication is that I'm gonna need it. Yeah. Oh, I did not see you guys. Hello. Hi. Seriously? A shotgun blast right to the face and you're still alive? I died. They're too fast. Okay. Gosh, these checkpoints are chunky. They are not where I want them to be. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> You can't just run up behind. Like, Alan has no sense of what's behind me. Okay. I guess any regular human. I complain a lot. I understand Alan is supposed to be an everyday man. He's supposed to... He's a writer. He's not a fighter. He doesn't have a lot of stamina because he's not trained. I, und I understand the concept. I appreciate it. But I'm I I am going to complain the entire time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, almost. Stop it! Guys! I feel like you guys are coming back alive! Where did you all come from? Thank you! I felt like I was like, okay, I only have two more. Oh my! See, I just feel like they're coming out of. I mean, okay, they're supposed to come out of nowhere, they're taken, but I. I anticipate all the enemies to be coming from a specific direction, usually the, the direction that you're going towards. So Alan is facing the end of the tunnel now, so I would be anticipating most of the enemies to be coming from, like, over here. And spawn relatively close together. I'm not expecting them to come from back all the way over there. <laughs> okay, I can switch to my revolver now. No, you guys, I just... Why didn't you show up when I was fighting everybody else? Stop it. You guys all just need to come out at once and let me live my life. I'm trying to find my wife. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The dark presence brought them up in its wake, Alan scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, it didn't even notice. So like, how is all of this, all of this lake vomit going to be explain to all the like normal townies like something supernatural i well isn't it already on record that like cauldron didn't sarah tell us that cauldron that not cauldron lake um god what is this town's name oh, i feel so bad i forgot the town's name um that this bright falls that this town just has a a reputation for odd occurrences so maybe maybe it'll just be another thing to add to to bright falls's list of weird occurrences 
I need to check to see what's behind these logs. I have like a moment of clarity here and a moment of peace and not so much chaos. Now I just want to check behind what's every single... I, now I just want to check to see what's behind every single one of these log structures here. I can't take that truck, can I? Please don't let me drive a semi. But also, please don't- look at- Dear Avenger. That game was actually pretty cool and wacky, if I remember correctly. Or I remember playing it as a kid. So, the game is Dear Avenger, and I think they were only made for the PC. And there was like- <clears throat> like a handful of them. And essentially, the concept is you are the deer and you are hunting the hunter. So it's like a role reversal of the traditional like hunting style games. I don't know the names of any of the hunting games, but I know that there's lots of them. Um, it's just a role reversal of the traditional hunting games um, with just a lot of humor that goes along with that role reversal. And you're just this buffed out deer hunting hunting hunters and you're using like chewing tobacco and like the smell of farts to <laughs> to um to trap them it's just really goofy don't do oh, i am trying to enjoy parts of my childhood here no stop i'm cornered please flashbang end of the game flashbangs i'm sorry that's just how that's just the way it's gonna be i'm over here trying to reminisce and talk about old pc games that i've played and you're just gonna run up on me like that while i'm knee deep in a loot crate those are supposed to be safe spaces if i see yellow paint i'm supposed to be safe Why, why should I even go in here? I just know I'm going to get attacked. I do it anyways. Oh, let's read the sign. All visitors must see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring... Ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing. Warning, junk piles may shift. Hazardous area. My dad and my brother used to go to places like this to find, like, parts for my super old Jeep Wrangler back when I was a cool kid and I had a cool vehicle before I had to trade it in for something more responsible and economical uh, growing up. Hey, you! Again, I'm trying to reminisce about my 1994 Jeep Wrangler. You, excuse me, where's your hall pass? Let me speak to your manager. It's too late now. Yo, oh, flare gun, okay. If we run into another bulldozer, then we'll definitely use it. Please don't make me run into another bulldozer, my god. Ooh! Shoot him, Alan. forget that it always switches to the last gun you picked up do not make me fight that thing please i've already i've already done enough damage to my mental state and also maybe my reputation as a let's player at this point with this level please don't don't make me fight the crane did that door try and fall off the hinge it's okay we are at peace we are calm it does not look like it wants to fight. It looks pretty docile. I am hearing footsteps that are not my own. <gasps> he ran just straight. He ran into this light post. And it just annihilated him. That was 
pretty cool. I, I don't know what way I'm supposed to be going. Hopefully it's this way because there are enemies now coming out of the woodwork to get me. Yeah. Can you imagine just a car just rolling at you five miles per hour and then you just explode because you can't handle it? I'd probably explode if I get hit by a car going five miles per hour. It's just the way I am. I can hear people fight, wanting to fight me and... Alan, Alan, the car is stuck. I, I beached the car again. I, I don't get the car stuck like that in real life. I abide by all the rules of the road. I, why am I in the junkyard? I'm supposed to go to Cauldron Lake to save my wife. Don't. I don't... I'm gonna get off the car here. It looks like there's a... Aren't I supposed to be going to Cauldron Lake? What am I doing? Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. Oh. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. Oh my god! That's horrible! But that's, that's just, that's the common, that's like the monkey paw. Whenever someone wants a loved one back, that's always the monkey paws. They always come back not the same. They're either a zombie or they're evil or it's usually there's some mindless zombie. Oops. Good job, Alan. We've got the power back on, which just means this place is now even more hazardous than it was. Oh, also my truck broke down. I don't know when that happened, but that's great. You really hate me. Okay, that's fine. I don't... And Alan doesn't have... He just doesn't really care that much, so he'll just stop running. Oh, really, Alan? This is a fight for your life, and you're just gonna... rely on the battery of a... Oh, my God. Is it gonna turn around? It's gonna go around. That son of a bitch. Now you have artificial intelligence. There's got to be some big spotlight that I'm missing that I can activate to kill this thing. There has to be a better method than this. Where did it go? It's not that, is it? No, it's this one. What are you doing? Do I have to fight this or can I just leave? Because my mission still says get to Cauldron Lake, but I don't know where to go from here, genuinely. I guess I'll just fight the thing. I was going to try and run from it, but I might get answers if I fight it. It might also break, like... It might also show me a way out of here. I don't know. I'm going to shoot it with the flare gun. Oh, no, I'm just going to flashbang it. That worked a little bit. That worked a lot. Okay. Where do I go now? You know what? I turned on the power. So let's leave this facility. No. Guys, seriously. Oh, I see a button here glowing. Didn't see that before. I'm really not in the mood for your antics right now, sir. trying to get to Cauldron Lake. I'm pressing buttons that I did not see. Is it going to squish it? Please let me watch it squish. Oh, please squish it. Oh, it's just going to lift it. Go, Alan, go. Go, Alan, go. Duck, Alan, duck. Sir. 
Thank you. I really wanted to see it get crushed, but that's okay. You tired, Alan? It's okay. You're just a normal guy. But maybe consider being a normal guy who, you know, does a little jog around the block every once in a while. It might do you some good. You might not die as much in case of supernatural emergency. Something tells me that this is going to be happening to you for a while after this. This never, you just never like shake this off and you're like, okay, cool. Some supernatural thing happened to me and no supernatural thing will ever happen to me ever again. It's once and done. I'm like, no, once the supernatural has its hooks in you, it just likes you. It's just gonna, it's, it's your new friend. It's staying. I'm waiting to see a landmark that I somehow recognize and realize that I've been backtracking for like way too long. But I don't think that's the case. Okay, checkpoint reached. Where are we? Is this the mining facility? It looks similar, but I can't remember. When I told Barry my plan back in the well-lit room, I'd acted as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating Hello. on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. And honestly, that stuff, like... It doesn't sound so outlandish anymore. After being in this town for so many days, how long have we been here? How... Does this take place over two weeks? Oh my god, Alan. Because he's he's gone for one week. Just outright missing, right? For a whole week, and that's when he's writing a majority of the manuscript. And then... Is this a, a second week? So two weeks. Maybe. Alice has been gone in the darkness. Oh, man. A floodlight. Oh, no. Two floodlights. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Thomas Zane, help me. Great. And a shotgun. I don't, you know, this is not good. This is not a good time. What do we have? We have flashbangs, we have flares. I'm gonna stick with the I flares for now. Give her to you. you shut up. You don't even. Oh God. Not the old decrepit water tower. Oh, coffee thermos. Can't forget about that. I I haven't checked how many manuscripts... I, essentially collectibles. I haven't checked on collectibles. Um, like, total count. And I want to check at the very end to see how well we did. Oh! Will you please knock it off? Thank you. Can I get in here? Oh, I can. I thought it was a door. Ooh, okay, okay. I don't know what's happening, but it's something happening over there and there's a big light, so we're using it. I can see Taken over there. Are they? Yeah, 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 exactly.
Oh, there it is. I was pressing the wrong button. Okay. Oops. Is that it? It looked like something significantly worse was happening. Here, I'll just sweep it boosted just in case. Okay, I think we're good. Jump in the well. Jump in the well, Alan. They made it too high for me to jump into. They did that on purpose. They knew someone was going to try and jump in the well. Oh, okay, Alan. You got to push. We're very excited, yes. Thank you. The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me, the words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. Maybe because the dark place is so anti-structural and so conceptual maybe that's why they need artists to oh they need artists to control and manipulate that darkness because only artists have that ability to well you know artistic people have the ability to conceptualize rather than see what is there in front of them Can you push? Thank you. Hurry up, Alan. There's a murderous person coming, I think. No? Okay. Just kidding. We're good. Ooh. Okay. I could see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. That's so far, dog. That is the furthest. There, it's like they were showing me because they were like, don't worry, you're almost there. Don't lose hope. But it made me lose more hope because that is so far away looking. That looks like 20 miles. Please tell me this mine cart takes me like, I was going to call it a Minecraft. Jesus. Just please tell me this minecart takes me like 15 miles all the way through. Huh. Alan, please, you control like a wet noodle. Can I nuke those birds? I cannot. Those are normal birds. Sorry, birds. Probably not normal birds. I shouldn't apologize to them. If I hold down the right bumper, left bumper, will this go faster? Oh, look, nope, there's birds. Evil, bad birds. Yeah. Uh-huh, I see you guys, don't even. Ah! Okay. That, oh, perfect timing then, great. I don't like the sound of those birds. Did they, <laughs> they flew into something that toasted them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sinister, very scary. Thank you, yes, birds. Horrified. Not just mildly annoyed, no, not at all. Ah, okay, I am, I am mildly annoyed. The birds are mildly annoying, please stop! <laughs> there you go. Really, Alan? Are you- oh god. This man. You can't, you can't blame me this time. I told him to jump. I told him to jump and I pointed where to jump to and he just didn't make it. He just gave 
the most half-hearted, ineffective hop I've ever seen. There you go. <laughs> get out of here. I'm so done with you guys. Just let me get to Alice. Just like, I'm just gonna pick up this coffee mug. Fuck these birds. Guys, seriously. It's not worth it at this point. Ah! Whoa, okay. I was too busy paying attention to the birds. Okay, we are here. We have arrived. This is just... Just a whole lot of birds. I don't know what else to say. It's just a lot of birds you gotta fight. I will... Oh my god. Yes, I get it. I know. It's a gauntlet. I'm in trouble. Please just let me get to this checkpoint, right? And everybody will disappear? Yes! Checkpoint reached. Okay. If I seem a little salty, that is because that felt like the most poorly constructed area that I've ever run through. For Alan Wake specifically. It's just very frustrating combat-wise. It took me a few tries. We got through it. And I know when to admit that I have skill issues. However, some of the combat is just really, really, really hard to play with in this game. I know it can't just be me. But we did it. We're here. We're on our way to Alice. We're back on track. <laughs> so let's go. Um, please, no more bird gauntlets. I am begging. I am begging. I am pleading. Yeah, I see you. Can you tell your friends to knock it off? Please. We'll just go around. <laughs> We're just, I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm not even in awe or shock anymore. Oh God, it's a runner. Nope, nope. Too many. You can't just have a bunch of little dudes running around like that. No, Alan? Okay. I can see him running around in the background! Stop, sir! Yeah! Perfectly timed. That was satisfying. <laughs> that, that was very satisfying. Is that a propeller? That's fine. Oh, yeah, the, the wake was talking about that in the law. Okay, that's a dead end. I can't really see where I'm going. Am I supposed to go this way? There's fire and stuff this way, but I feel like I just came from this direction. I guess I'm supposed to go this way because she's just trying to drop stuff on me now. Stop it! Yeah, I see you. Kind of. I don't see you, but I can see you getting crispy through those bushes. Can you? Well, I can't see! What is going on? <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> that got me! Stop it! Oh my god! Like, please. The checkpoints are very far and few in between. I can't... You guys can't get me. I'm gonna start flashbanging you because that's all I have left. Yeah, thank you. No, no thank you. Come on. Please, who's doing thank you to whoever or whatever did that? Don't know at this point. Drop a flashbang. Okay, great. That is so sloppy. <laughs> but we, we did it. Okay, checkpoint. Yes, I know. I see it. I see it. Th oh my god, Alan! She is just throwing a temper tantrum at this point. Like, Barbara Jagger, the darkness, the dark one, it's over. You are literally throwing things around like a petulant child right now. It's okay, I stepped in poop, guys. Don't worry. Okay, next checkpoint. A safe room? Are you sure it's safe, though? Because I keep getting attacked in these things. We got more flashbangs, more flares. Those are- that's our bread and butter right now. The flashbangs and- and- and flares, we're relying on those like no one's business. The darkness? Where's her face? Oh yeah, we read that one already. I also see- I see something out there. Oh, Alan, are you stuck in a corner? You just get stuck, buddy? <laughs> okay. I saw something out here I want. Oh, I don't think I can come out this way. Okay. Up the stairs then. The darkness controls her. Yes, I... Yeah. Oh, no. This way. There we go. I see this box. I see a glowing green thing over there. So... Let's make sure to head to the glowing green things. That's important. Nice. Oh, not nice. Why do I hear? Oh, I don't like that. No, no, no. Flashbang. Yeah. Flashbang. No? Nope. Flashbangs. Yeah. More flashbangs. I don't care. Here's a flare. Oh, it killed me. That was fast. Okay. Maybe I should care more. I mean, I can't... I just... Like, it's the end of the road here. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna use the flare gun is what I'm gonna do. Flashbangs and flare guns. We're just gonna go OP. Like, super double, triple OP here. Yeah.
I'm not dealing with you today. Not today, Chainsaw Man. Uh-uh. Seriously? You're still alive? No! Hey! Listen! Nuh-uh! Is he still covered in darkness? I'm dead. Oh, did that hurt, Alan? <laughs> Great. We're gonna start with, uh, with a challenge level HP. We're gonna pick up this stuff here. We're just gonna rely on the flares and the flashbangs and the flare gun. Um, to get these guys down because it's just the combination of enemies they're using here is brutal. It's just a bunch of those little guys that move way too fast to shoot and a bunch of those chainsaw guys that don't, that like don't stagger. So that's fun. Yeah, I don't know what I did, but it looked pretty climactic. Stop it! We can... No? Why are you behind me? Stop it! Stop! Oh my god! The amount of damage these guys... Like... Oh! Where is he? Are they all gone? I don't... I don't trust... I don't trust this game. All right, this is the checkpoint. So I feel like if I press this, I just, this is, this takes way too long for it to come down to use the checkpoint effectively to get rid of everybody. Do you know what I mean? Cause I, what they tell you to do is if you're overwhelmed, you run to a checkpoint and the checkpoint will clear everything out for you. But to wait for the checkpoint to, to essentially become active, I would have been like a sitting duck all that time. It just didn't seem feasible. No, don't, don't send me back down. Oh, I was trying to open the door. Okay. And we're going back up. And we're back up. Does it... Can I leave? No? That is so silly. <laughs> After Zane had gone, I stood alone in the shifting dream that was the dark place. I had to find a way to the cabin. I had written myself a way through this place in the manuscript. Can you have ridden less enemies, Alan? I had written myself across the ocean that blocked my way. And with that, there was a bridge to the island beyond. The idea of the cabin flickered in the underwater darkness. I willed the cabin to be real, and it was. Okay, that's... Can you will the cabin to be about, like, three miles closer to us? Because that would be fantastic. Turn back now. I mean, if you make it worth my while, I'll turn the game off right now. Rip. I was going to call her Rebecca. What's her name? Barbara? No, stop it! Oh! <laughs> I'm not in the mood, Barbara! I'm coming to get you, Barbara! Like, on it, like, seriously. This is... Very done. <gasps> Hey, seriously? No, that's not fair. I already got rid of all of you. You can't just come out later because, oh, no one noticed me. 
Okay, another flare. Another flare. Are you done yet? Thank you. Do what you're told. Dude! I'm just... I'm just trying to do my job, Barbara. Can you please stop trying to impale me with these spikes? I can see stuff moving around out there. I, that's... No! What is she that? Loved you. Oh, okay. Seriously? Oh my god! Wait, who, who? I didn't destroy that truck. What light source destroyed that truck? Sorry, Alan. You're gonna get. You're gonna get hit. Oh! Okay, I have. Lots of flare gun ammo. I'm just gonna start. Is this what I should be doing? Because this is what I'm doing. I don't know. There's just a bunch of flare gun ammo here. And a big ugly tornado over there. Maybe I should get closer. I don't know. We're just going pure instincts at this point. I mean, it feels like it's taking damage there. Okay. Oh, no, you're going to from behind now. Stop it. That's enough. I, what am I supposed to be shooting at the big stuff or the blackness that is the center of the tornado? Okay, I guess I'll just get closer. I guess I'll just fall in the hole. Okay, we made it across. We actually made it across. God. I just had to get closer. That's it. I I was I thought that I had to clear out some of the debris first maybe. We defeated the tor We did it. We did it! Okay! Oh my god, we did it! I made that way harder than it had to be. Oh my god. Jump, Alan. Go. Or click. I don't know. Jump and click! Jump and click, Alan! We didn't get through all of this <gasps> admittedly crappy combat to not see you save Alice. Help. Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. No, it's wearing her face, it Alan. It's wearing her face! No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear. Oh. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. Absolutely not. I didn't get through all Alan? this just to go back to bed, Alice. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? 
I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. I told you. See? I'm so proud of you. Stop Come it. Back to bed. Don't worry about it in the morning. Where's the clicker, Alice? Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed, Tom. Oh, I still have my light? That was the dustiest Tom I've ever heard. She said, Tom! Oh, that's Thomas Sane, right? Find your way to the cabin. He stands in your way. He won't let you pass. It has no heart. It's filled with darkness. It must fill its heart. It has no heart because he cut it out. Or did he try to cut out the heart and there was nothing there? Phone pole, shopping cart, crate, path, phone, bird, barrel, bird, thermos, path, and telephone pole look the brightest, but... Okay. Oh, the words are... I got it. So this is literally a telephone pole. That's a I'm barrel. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. You're Alice? lying. No, what are you saying? You can't. You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. All you do is torture yourself with work you can't do anymore. No, I, I love you more than anything in the world. You're, you're my muse. I'm not. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? wasn't true. Nothing like that had ever happened. You're not my Barbara. Tom, let me go. I promise to be here. Please, untie me, you naughty boy. I will help you write your masterpiece. I will love you forever. No, you're not Barbara Jagger. I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is filled with darkness. Is it the same voice actor Put for that Tom? Knife away, Thomas. Oh, damn it. I should have let it finish. I'm pretty sure that was the audio for when he cuts her heart out. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Oh, that's her heart hole. Older than your Put it in friend. the hole, Alan! I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Yes! Fuck yeah! Now go get Alice! Go- Oh my god, yes! That is the build-up. That's what we've been waiting for! Whoa! Like, what's gonna happen to Alan? We're not on, we're not on Earth right now. We're not in our dimension or time space. Is, like, I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There's light 
and there's darkness. Cause and effect, there's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. He's gonna stay for her. Because Thomas Sane tried to have his cake and eat it too. He tried to write her back to life with no consequence. Alan understands that doesn't work. It's got, like like he said, there's got to be a trade-off. He's trading one for another. So is he going to trade himself for Alice? Festival. Oh, are all the turned people? Oh, did what are the turn the people that were turned into taken? Did they come back? <laughs> the old gods. Oh. No. Oh. He's got to ride himself back out. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. Alan, wake up. And that was, that was our Alan Wake playthrough. Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome back to the statistics screen. Uh, the, I Like I said, I wanted to check the statistics, see like what collectibles and how close we got to 100 with any of them, if at all. Uh, it looks like, let's see, manuscript pages found 77 at 100 out of 106. Thermoses 76 out of 100. Pyramid cans knocked over. Chest found. Radio shows found. Nine out of 11? That's, I missed one TV show. I was hoping that I wouldn't miss any TV shows. I was hoping that, that there was alarm clocks and cardboard standees and video games. Hold on. That's cool. I missed a lot of collectibles. A lot of things I didn't even know existed in the game. That's incentive for another playthrough. Ugh. Speaking of other playthroughs. I am 100% willing to admit 
when I have a skill issue. I have a skill issue. Combat is very difficult for me. Um, clean movement is difficult for me. Not misinputting is difficult for me. It's all those are all things that I live with as a gamer. I I make I make it up with sheer force of will. We'll get through it. We will. It'll just take longer. <laughs> with that being said, the combat in Alan Wake is not good in large doses and it's not good for mobs of enemies it's i understand that alan is supposed to be an everyman so he's not supposed to be nimble and fast and good at combat other games do that too silent hill for one um however they they because of your everyman combat abilities, they do not throw hordes of enemies at you all at once. And if they do throw lots of enemies at you, it's usually in a confined space that you can escape. And the intent is is to make you want to run, not make you want to fight. Whereas in Alan Wake, it's also really hard to run from your enemies too, because you have to stop, turn around, flash them, run, stop, turn around, flash them, run, because they're faster than you and they throw. And almost every single enemy you encounter has some kind of throw. So it, the combat is not the funnest. Funnest, is that is that a word? It's, it drags a little bit. And I think it, if they had, emphasize less of the game I, that, as weird as it sounds if they emphasize less of that style of gameplay and went with more i i see i don't even know what they could have replaced it with i just think they needed less enemies maybe i should have just played on easy mode again maybe it's just my skill issue i just think there could have been some improvements with the combat they it made Lo episode three and episode six so so tedious and because episode six is supposed to be a gauntlet i get it we're running we're, we have to get there and barbara's gonna go throw everything at you she's gonna throw everything that that she possibly can to keep you away from alice to keep you from finishing and beating her so of course the last level plays out like a gauntlet but it's just combat on top of combat on top of combat and it's it's a little much given the way the Alan Wake combat works out. Now that that's out of the way, getting through all of that combat, which I didn't like very much, was so totally worth it for this game's story. It is so good. It is so well written. It's there's you can tell that there's passion in the writing. I love the the real world like calls to like other writers that like Stephen King and I I can't name a lot of writers. I'm I'm not literate, but it's the the story is so good. I am willing to get through that combat so I can get to Alan Wake. What Alan Wake really is. It reminds me of Deadly Premonition where Deadly Premonition was so focused on their like story and their gate and their and their storytelling within the game that they didn't want to do like any combat and they had to add the combat in and the combat is super easy. It's super basic just to get you from point A to point B so you can enjoy like the parts of the gameplay they wanted you to enjoy. And I think that that game is really bad, but it's like a favorite of mine. It's one of those cult classic type of deals. Anyways, I had so much fun playing this game. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Uh, Alan Wake 2, anyone? <laughs>